band here. So you got whatever the material is, whether it's precast GFRC face, which has got no fiber in it, or the backer, which is super heavy laden with fiber, you always are going to use one gallon of modifier. Okay? The modifier is like an activator. This is where it gets all its strength. So if you just use water in this, because there is cement in this, it will get hard. It won't get near as hard as it will with that. So this would probably reach, if you did not use the modifier, this would probably reach about 2200, maybe 2500 psi, possibly. But then, so it's going to take you days to cure. With this modifier, you're going to reach 10,000 psi. Wow. But you did. You're going to get six to 7,000 within about two and a half days. This is the same program we use for Terrazzo? Yeah. Yep. Same one. Only in Terrazzo, you use two of these per bag. Yeah. Yep. So the water demand, usually I always add a little bit of water because I like to have mine a little thinner. So I may add some water depending on how I actually mix it. But I'm going to use the one gallon of modifier. It says up to 16 ounces of water. Now, 16 ounces of water is really going to make this pretty wet. The chances you're ever going to want to go over 16 is probably slim. That's not about per bag. Per bag, yeah. You're probably pretty slim. But, again, water, say you wanted to go to 18 ounces for some reason. How much difference are you going to really do in the strength? Not a whole lot. You're not going to change it that much. But, usually, that's about the most you're going to go with the water. Is, yeah, not very often you're going to have to go past that. Yep. Uh, so what we do is we take the modifier. You always are going to shake it because there's probably a sediment in the bottom. So you want to make sure you shake that modifier very, very well. Modifier comes in gallons, 5 gallons, 55 gallon drums, and 250 gallon totes. And I'm sure Owen would love you to order those. <laughs> Never know. Never, Never know. know. So what I like to do is I'll, I'll mix it. I like to dump a little bit. Yeah. And then just make sure I get all the goodies off the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and put my color packs in this, okay? Now with this mix, it's two color packs to get to the chart. Not one, but two. Is it foul shot? What color did you put over there? Putty. Oh, putty. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but these, these are called true color now, and they're black. They come in a black bag. Turkey's just gone through a big thing. We uh, redoing a lot of our uh, labels. And then what I'll do is I'll mix my colors. Now, here's a here's an important factor with all of these mixes, especially this one, and especially the backer is even more. Because there's so much fiber in this bag. You need to have a paddle like for you sort of helical in nature because it breaks up that fiber. If you try to put it in here in like one of those drywall paddles, just the, the, you get, all it's going to do is bring the, the fibers going to come in a wad and it's never going to break it up. So, so the paddle is an important piece.
Let's go to the table. You see how much I have in my hand there? Yeah. So, and I just dropped some. So, in that little tiny handful, you see all the fibers in this mix. It's almost the same as the Russell, right? Russell have a little bigger. What's the same? In, in which? In the Russell? Um, it's a little, it's a little bit different fiber, but it's close. Yeah, it's yeah. 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 So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do one side with baking soda, do my vein, and I'm going to do the other side with no baking soda, just so you can see the technique that you get out of both of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my baking soda and just sprinkle it out on it. Now remember, like I said, big chunks, big holes. A little bit, not so much. So what I like to do, especially when I'm pouring on regular, is I'll only pour my mold up to like a quarter inch. I would think you can go as much as one. Yeah, you don't want to take this product much more than two inches. Well, it's not meant to do that. It's not meant to go out that thick. Now over here on this side, I don't want to have, I don't care if I have pinholes. And the <laughs> when I build my vein, I want to make sure that I'm only about a quarter of an inch thick here. Because what I'm doing is I'm actually dividing two pieces of concrete. So if I make my vein full three quarters and then I throw veining material into it, and then I bring this up to it, I got a weak spot that's going through. So if I build my veining material only about a quarter inch thick, then when I come back over top of it, I've tied it all back together. It's going to be like a crack in the rear. Right. And I'll be following the computer. So now I can come in with my veining material. Good catch. That's a lot of money. I can throw it into that edge. I really don't care what it does back here. What I care about what's doing on the surface. Right? It's not going to affect. That's what I care about. It's not going to affect the 